What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and cover a pretty special filter. Uh, it's very popular in Asia. Not as popular over here though, which is kind of weird. Um, it's used in a lot of MFK tanks, bare bottom aquariums and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and explain what it is in today's video. It looks like this. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. <laughs> So this is the filter right here. I got mine off Amazon. I feel like it's a lot safer to purchase items just like this through Amazon because um, Amazon's a pretty big company. If anything were to happen, they'll just refund you and just try somewhere else. But honestly, uh, if you can get your hands on this on eBay or something, I'm pretty sure there's vendors on there that sell it. Um, but this is the one right, that I got right here that I'm gonna be testing out. It's called SH Coral. It has a little bit of a diagram here. Uh, like, you know, it shows you the lid and you know, the, the container and all that stuff and how things work and how things are put together. How you use it is very simple too, just like this diagram. It's an airline hooked up to an air pump and then that's hooked up to your filter and then just put it in your tank. That's it. So enough of me showing you this empty box. Let's go ahead and dive down and I'll go ahead and show you guys the product itself. All right guys, so this is the filter right here. This is the JDM filter for aquariums and stuff. You'll most likely see this in a lot of Asian style aquariums or MFK style aquariums. And this main focus is to collect detritus. So picture it kind of like a polyfill filter, but um, this is kind of a more extreme version of it. How it works is this sits at the bottom of your tank and it's very effective when it comes to cleaning up detritus in bare bottom aquariums. Uh, not so much like aquariums with substrate and stuff because uh, you wouldn't want substrate to get caught up in this area right here. So this sits at the bottom of your tank. This is a little vent which like consumes and sucks up all the detritus and poop and all the stuff you don't want wandering around in your aquarium and then it goes in this little chamber right here. This little cone is going to prevent the detritus from coming out again. Air stone goes in here, blows air through this little chimney, spins this propeller and then that creates suction through here. This is where it sucks up the detritus, goes through this chimney, and then pretty much gets blocked off in this area from this little cone right here. So after that, the detritus is in this little container and then you pretty much just clean this out every week. This filter isn't meant for biological filtration. It's more or less of a way for you to collect detritus that collects at the bottom of your aquarium. Uh, it could be at the bottom, it could be floating around, just as long as it gets through this little vent right here. And you don't have to worry about detritus getting through this little black part. Uh, it has to be very, very small for it to get through this, so uh, it'll pretty much get stuck in here. And then this is very easy to clean out too compared to uh, polyfill. So there's nothing to replace inside of this, like uh, polyfill and stuff. Uh, nothing's gonna break down in this. Using this over and over again is not gonna cost you any money. So that's pretty much it with this filter right here. Uh, my kit actually came with Biomedia that went inside this cone. I'll go ahead and show you where it was when I break this up. Honestly, I took it out because I don't want this thing to have any biological media anyways because what it's mainly doing is just taking out detritus and uh, most of my Biomedia is gonna be in my sump. So I'm not using this for biological filtration. I'm using this pretty much for mechanical filtration, like crazy mechanical filtration. So if you were to use something like this for your tank, this is not going to be your only source of filtration. You're going to, it's, it's going to be like a supplemental filtration. So you're going to have this equipped with maybe like a, a sump or a hang on bag, a sponge filter, canister, something like that. You're going to have another source of biological filtration. This is going to be purely mechanical, only mechanical. Don't expect beneficial bacteria to live in here unless you have that biomedia that's in that cone. But honestly, if you have that in there, uh, it's just, it's just going to provide a place for it to try to build up anyway you're gonna have to clean it up and honestly nothing's gonna be living in there so um yeah that's pretty much it with this filter if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below so for this one right here there is a little tab right here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to like use a pry bar and pull this i'm using a little tweezer right here just because i don't have any pry bars and be careful because a lot of these especially the chinese ones they're super brittle and um if you mistreat them they can break oops i'm already scratching the um, this right here maybe i could have used a better tool but honestly i just want to get this out to show you guys there you go so that's the top of the cone that i was telling you about let me go ahead and get this opened show you what i was talking about so this is pretty much deconstructed i can take this little cone out too if i wanted but uh it's a lot easier to just leave it in there and i'll show you how it works so as you can see that's inside the chimney 
and then uh, this is the housing area for your detritus. Some MFK people put little crawfish in here. Uh, I think it's just so that they can break up the detritus that builds up in here. That way you never have to clean this up, but it's kind of cruel. Um, I mean, if you do it, that's on you. Uh, I'm not gonna cap you for that, but um, yeah, man. Some people put crawfish in here and um, they pretty much continuously eat the detritus that collects in these little canisters. I'm probably not gonna be doing that because I'm gonna have to like explain to you guys every single time why there's a crawfish in there. So here's the top cone portion right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and open this up and show you guys where the biomedia was. As you can see, these materials are pretty brittle and cheap, so you wanna be careful. Uh, my kit did, like I said, have biomedia in here, but I took it out. But again, I wouldn't put any in here because uh, it's just another place for it to try to build up, so. The ones that are made in China, you have to be careful about it because um, a lot of my buddies actually purchased some of these and they came broken. Uh, mine did come broken as well, as you can see. This base right here is cracked. I can still use it, but honestly, I contacted the company. I'll keep you guys updated on what they say, but my base is broken, um, which kind of sucks. But the filter is still usable because I will just use it like this anyways. So this is the top portion right here. So there's different variations out there of this filter. And the only difference is that there's more propellers here. So for example, mine only has one, as you can see. Other variations of it have like a propeller here and then a propeller here. It's like super stacked. So there's three propellers going. It's pushing a bunch of water through. And uh, I think those are the more expensive ones or maybe even the real ones that are made in Japan. Uh, I see them with a whole bunch of propellers. So if I ever get my hands on those, I'll keep you guys updated, but this is the one I got. I'm just gonna try it out for now. If it works, then I'll buy a nicer one from a Bashir tank because just by seeing how this is made, you hear that? Listen to this. That's just me just going like this. You know, it's crazy how this isn't really adapted over here in America or popularized over here in America and it's only popular in, Ch in Asia. This is actually pretty cool. I, I like how it looks. It gives the tank a, like a little retro look. And um, yeah, man, that would be tight if uh, LFS is out here had this. Dude, I've been waiting for this filter for a long time, man. I've always wanted one. I've seen people that I've um, followed on Instagram and stuff have it. And um, yeah, man, it's just all over MFK, all over like the, the Asian tanks and stuff. I see it every single time. Finally got my hands on one. I don't know if it's a good quality one, but this should be fun. Should be really fun. Let's go ahead and head back to the house and put this into the tank. Alright guys, so we're back at the crib. Let's go ahead and get this all situated and uh, have this installed in the tank. Whenever I come back to the house, I always let the Aranda go. Uh, let him hang out for a little bit with his friends and then I put him back when I leave. And uh, if you're wondering why I put him in this cage, uh, watch the last couple of my videos. I'll talk about it. This Aranda is dealing with swim bladder disease. I'm currently waiting for a medication of food that's coming through eBay, so uh, until then, uh, stay tuned for its progress. But I'm gonna go ahead and release this guy, let him come out and chill for a little bit. I pretty much just want to give him some time to come out and stretch, so. Go hang out with your buddies while I do my thing. Actually, one of the first things I want to do is get rid of one of these sponges. Don't need too many filters in here, or else the fish are not gonna have a place to hang out, so. Right there. That's not. That's not bad, right there. Ain't bad at all. Miranda, get the hell out of the way. Miranda's hanging out with me or something, dude. You gotta move. Come over here, dude. Come over here, but I'm making a video. All right, go ahead and leave the leave the thing right there. That was pretty good. All right. Filters installed. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this over so you can see how the airline's installed right here. So the airline plugs in right there, and then uh, it'll push air through. As you can see, look, it's already capturing stuff from the bottom. So you can see it's already working. Uh, let me go ahead and let this run for a little bit, and we'll come back in a couple minutes and see how much it collected. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the filter has already started to collect things. Uh, and the air is not even all the way up. As you can see, the propeller is barely moving. And um, yeah, it's already collected some detritus. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but I think in about a week, you're going to start to see like crazy amounts of stuff in there. Let me go ahead and increase the air that's going into this uh, filter real quick and see how it does. Uh, I think this is the one. Let's go ahead and increase 
So that's max right there. Now, now the propeller is really going. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. That thing is moving. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we have the filter installed into the tank. As you can see, I have the air full blast right now. Uh, and it's already collecting stuff into the little canister. I don't know if you can tell, but look at the bottom of the box. It's like pulling things in through the little legs and it's trapping it inside the little container. Pretty crazy. It's it's pretty strong, actually. I guess depending on how much air you put through this, uh, it will kind of judge how it works. But look at it. It's collecting hella stuff in there. And I barely put it in for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. It started working immediately. Uh, it actually ran out of detritus in that specific area, that little corner. So I had to push like stuff towards it to see it actually work. Uh, at first, when I put it in, I was kind of like, mm, maybe it might not work so fast. But then right when it, right when it touched the ground, the bottom, um, things just started being lifted into the tube. But yeah, excuse my dirty tanks because whenever you see my tanks, or usually whenever I record, is right before a water change. So as you can see, it's a little dirty but it's about that time to water change anyways. And it's also a good time for me to test how strong the suction is for this little filter. Uh, good thing I didn't siphon for about a week and uh, there's a good amount of stuff at the bottom. And uh, I'm just wondering how the detritus from here is gonna get to this filter here. Maybe this guy right here can push it for me, but uh, if not, I'll give it some assistance and maybe I'll even just do some siphoning myself. But I wanna see how much the trice gets collected in that little filter uh, just by being in that little corner right there. Actually, while I was installing this filter right here, I started to see my algae wall growing. Check it out. Can you guys see the back wall right there? All that moving algae and stuff? See how uh, it's kind of like blowing in the wind? That algae is what I've been waiting for this whole time. I've been waiting for this for so long that my tank looks like crap, dude. But that right there is a good sign because once that algae is formed, it's just going to form in the back of the tank. It's going to look amazing. And um, yeah, hopefully it'll stop looking super dirty and start looking like real algae. But yeah, I'm glad it formed on that wall. I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but yeah, man, it's looking it's looking like real algae. Just like how Rachel O'Leary had her tank her, with her Bashirs, I like that look. That look looks tight. Because I just added in this filter, we're not going to see much of an impact yet. So I'm going to go ahead and wait maybe about a week come back and check up on his progress but while we're here uh might as well just water change all right see you guys in a week all right guys so it's been about a week i'm doing my weekly water changes for the bashir right now let me go ahead and give you guys an update on the goldfish jdm filter uh it isn't doing as good as i thought it would but i think i know why as you can see, it's not the filter's fault. My tank doesn't have a lot of flow. So all the detritus that builds up along the back and along this side right here, it won't ever make it to this portion of the tank. And at the same time, it also doesn't help that I only have sponge filter and a DIY K1 for this whole tank. So any kind of matter doesn't get sucked into like a external filter. Like uh, for example, the sump right here. Another flaw is that right there. I don't know if you can see it, but let me go ahead and zoom in and show you guys what I'm talking about. I have a prediction on what happened. Rancho has to move. Can you see that? Clogged up. All clogged. And it's clogged horribly too. Look at that. This is a major flaw for this filter. Uh, the little mesh grill that's in there. That's going to prevent a whole bunch of stuff from getting into that um, canister portion. So that's bad i'm gonna have to take this out and modify it because i have an idea on how i can improve this but uh let me go ahead and clear this stuff out right now i saw this issue coming from afar but i wanted to let it run before modifying it but this is something that i feel like is a must for this little filter so this little portion right here i feel like i have to take this whole thing up because if i don't things are going to get clogged in it it's going to be a bad look and uh we're going to have that problem again so let me go ahead and just kind of take this out that was easy. Honestly, when I was putting this filter in, I I, I seen it coming because um, this little mesh portion, like a piece, like a piece of Anubius, like a dead Anubius, can literally clog that whole thing up easily. So that's why we're gonna have to modify this filter a little bit. Oh wait a minute! Wow, there is an option to take this off. I am tripping. Look at this. Oh my god, I wish I'd seen this before I started popping the bars out. Last one don't want to come out though. Oh. 
there it goes perfect this is exactly what i wanted for this filter to have an option to take this off man too bad i didn't see this before because i already broke some of the mesh off i'm probably gonna run it like this no matter what anyways and that bottom mesh i probably won't even need it but man that's crazy how they had this option i didn't even see that now i know that the filter will run good because they'll have no mesh to kind of clog it up and this should now collect way more than it did before let me go ahead and give you guys a closer look the light it just has these four little holes you pop off that mesh and uh you're set right there go ahead and put it back dude i'm shocked i'm really shocked i can't believe this part comes out of the filter i can't believe it but i mean i wouldn't run this anyway so i don't feel that bad breaking this up but man i wish i knew so you see that piece right there watch this bam done deal all right guys so it's time to review the filter do i recommend it do i not pros and cons of this filter i'm gonna go ahead and lay everything out right here you know i even went ahead and uh wrote everything down here so i don't miss it so you guys are about to get my full detailed review and my impressions on this little filter right here so the first good thing about this filter is it is very effective at collecting detritus when conditions allow it to and what i mean by conditions is is there enough flow in the tank to push the detritus around to get to your filter is there enough air pumping through the little air stone up top it's these little things that will impact the filter's performance and honestly this thing right here is really good at collecting detritus really good the second good thing about this filter is it is very easy to clean out and maintain compared to things like polyfill see for example if you were to have a filter that's filled with this right here you either have to really wash this thing out or you have to replace the stuff that's inside of these diy poly filters but when it comes to this filter right here there's nothing to replace the inside has enough space for you to clean things out and it's very easy to just stick a garden hose into the bottom portion of that filter and just spray everything out and then put it back in your tank very easy and besides when you do diy poly filters just like this uh, when this thing gets full, it's going to stop collecting stuff. Water is going to be flowing around the filter media, and uh, that's not good. The filter is not going to be working anymore. Um, your filter capacity is pretty much maxed, and um, yeah, you're going to have to change that out or clear it out. But when it comes down to this, the inside compartment is so big that it'll be impossible for it to clog, especially now with that mesh off the bottom. It, it'll, it'll take a hell of a lot to try to fill that thing up compared to a bottle filter filled with polyfill and the reason why i keep comparing it to polyfill is because this thing is kind of like a polyfill filter the what it's used for is kind of like that it's used to pick up the tritus from the tank polyfill is pretty much like that too it's not meant to hold beneficial bacteria this thing is not meant to hold beneficial bacteria its sole purpose is to pick up the tritus off the bottom of your tank or in the water column and collect it in that little canister right there this is the reason why i keep comparing it to polyfill and now to the bad parts because i know every filter has bad parts the first bad part is this filter requires a lot of air like a lot of air even though a little bit of air will work and it will do its job you know collecting certain things but if you really want this to work at 100 percent, you need to pump all kinds of air through the top of this filter I don't know if it's because mine is a single propeller, but if it was like a triple propeller, maybe it'd do a lot better. But from what I'm seeing right now, if I didn't have this much air pumping through the little filter, it wouldn't be collecting as much as it is right now. Don't get me wrong, it'll do something, but it'll do way better with way more air. And the very last thing that I don't like about this filter is shipping and availability. Honestly, I don't recommend the buyer that I got it from over on Amazon. If you want to buy this, I honestly think you should buy it off of eBay. Take your luck with the seller and just get one of those nice Japanese ones. Let me go ahead and uh, find it real quick. I think searching up for this filter is kind of tricky. It's, it's, um, it's how you word it. So you have to search up air suction toilet aquarium filter thing right here right you have to search this up you can't just search up air filter jdm air filter you're gonna find like a honda civic or something but you put in suction toilet air filter aquarium and then you just scroll down a little bit and then you'll start to see things like this right here go ahead and click that and that's an ebay link i mean view these pages at your own discretion but I think eBay is pretty safe if you have a PayPal account. It took a little while to find it, but this is the one you want. This is the JDM version, the real JDM version, and uh, you'll start to see boxes just like this. Honestly, if I could tell you the name of this, I would, but everything's in Japanese, so um, just remember what this looks like. You'll honestly see a lot of sellers selling this because of this out. So this is the first person that's selling it. Scroll down a little bit, 
and you'll see a hell of people selling it, you know what I mean? But honestly, I don't recommend the Amazon buyer that I got it from. That's why I'm not gonna leave any links to that specific source. But go on eBay, man, take your luck and try and get one of these ones right here. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new and exciting, especially this unique little filter right here. Hope you guys learn more about it. Hope you guys do your research and dig into this little filter and get one for yourself. Because honestly, this thing is really exciting, it's really cool, and finally having it is it's really cool, honestly. A lot of people hit me up on Instagram, man, and uh, I just couldn't respond back because I was making this video, but I'm glad I made it, and um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and peace, guys.